afternoon everybody and welcome to the Mel Sol Golf School. I'm Mel Sol, Director of Instruction and Master Professional at beautiful Paulie's Plantation Golf and Country Club. We are, we are located in Paulie's Island, South Carolina. We're about a half an hour south of Myrtle Beach. Today I want to talk about putting, not putting mechanics or anything other than one of the things that ruins people missing short putts time and time again whether I'm teaching them on the putting green or whether I'm playing with them on the course I don't see a lot of amateurs stay still over their putts there's a lot of movement and when I film students there's a lot of upper body movement that they don't even realize when I show them when we go into the video analysis room and I show them the head movement they're shocked they don't realize how much the head is moving and the same with the lower body we get a lot of you know movement in the lower body when you're going so you you're ruining the stroke you the stroke cannot be consistent if there's all that movement going on so here's an easy way this you should have on your back patio you can use a, just a regular chair if you want to but what you're going to do here is you're going to put this on the back of your thigh just touching the back of your thigh now if I move I can definitely feel that I'm moving and all I need here is feedback so I want to set up with the putter behind the ball my thighs touching the chair and I want to make the stroke without my lower body moving so I, that felt pretty still and if I keep my head I want after I've hit the putt I want to be staring at the spot where the ball was so that's about the right pace that I want but what I felt I accomplished there was there was no movement in my lower body because I would have felt it immediately so if you have a tendency to move your lower body put a chair back on your thighs and if you don't know whether you've got that tendency or not do it anyway because if you feel movement you'll know that that's something you do in your putting stroke if there's a tendency to move your head or as I said if you don't know whether you're moving your head get someone to videotape you or ask someone who's playing with you just watch my head and tell me whether my head moves if that is the case go indoors this is what I do is I'll go and stand in a doorway and I'll put my head on the door jam and I'll practice my putting stroke and I know because my head's on the door jam I know that I'm keeping my head still so the combination of practicing my putting with my head on a door jam or practicing with my thighs on the back of the chair really helps me eliminate movement in the putting stroke all of that adds to the putting stroke itself being much more consistent, I'm gonna put a lot better. Enjoy.